Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to review a smart knob or like a Zigbee switch that I purchased from AliExpress and um, I purchased this because it has a couple of nice functions so there is a button on the top so you can press it and actually it listens to multiple events like a single press long press I think it also detects double press and triple press and also it can be rotated so you know this should be ideal either to control volume or brightness of a light so that was my main uh, reason I bought this and I thought because I have a son of a Tuya and a Zigbee to MQTT system I'm going to test it in all three systems just in summary it doesn't work in Sonoff at all, it's not being recognized. It works fine in Tuya. And actually I had to re-record this section because uh, I thought that the uh, this device is not working with Zigbee to MQTT, but actually it does. I just had to restart, oh sorry, update Zigbee to MQTT. So as you can see here, uh, I'm getting the data from uh, Zigbee to MQTT. And if I click on the right screen, so it is being recognized as a Tuya device. Um, it, with this model and if I go into you know what it exposes then you can see that for a single a press is a toggle action and then you have the brightness step up and the step down and the action step size uh, depends on the um, rotation and it also uh, responds to long presses for some reason not double presses but anyway in the Zigbee to MQTT section I'm going to talk more about this but let me show you the AliExpress listing quickly. So I purchased this device from this store. I'm pretty sure that there are similar products available from other sellers as well. And to be honest, it's not particularly cheap, but I think it's, you know, it has some niche features that would be useful. And uh, actually you can order them from uh, various sources. So it doesn't necessarily come from China. And I think I ordered mine from Spain. And I mean, it took about a week to arrive uh, here in, uh, in the EU so that definitely works and you can see that it supports a couple of single press double press long press rotate and press and rotate so these are the uh, different actions that it supports um, and yeah I mean you can see the prices here and um, to be honest I think the you know some of these images were a little bit misleading because uh, I you know based on these images I was thinking that maybe this could be a little bit you know bigger but uh, it is actually really, really small. And, uh, but honestly, I mean, you know, it supports these events. This is how it looks like. And there is not much that I can say about this unit. Of course, it doesn't talk about the, you know, how it can be used with a smart bulb because the features will depend on the ecosystem where you're going to use it. I mean, obviously it would be working slightly different in Tuya or if you use it with Alexa or, you know any other Zigbee system but it uses Zigbee 3.0 and it requires a coin cell battery which is not supplied so the first thing that you need to do is uh, uh, unscrew the back and uh, install the battery so that should be enough about the uh, the whole listing and I'm going to show you this product as well quickly I mean as I said I think it's um, uh, I mean, it could be a little bit better, I think. Uh, it would be nice. But the whole thing is plastic. Uh, there are several different type of plastic. So this ring is uh, gray and it is uh, shiny, but then the base and the middle is more like a lightly textured and black matte finish. Uh, the whole thing weighs, uh, you know, next to nothing. It's, it's really, really light. And on the back, you have a couple of magnets. You have a screw hole. So do you un unscrew this, uh, sorry, yeah. So you unscrew this uh, screw and you get into the inner compartment where you can install the battery. And there is a status LED. So whenever it's sending data, it um, blinks the LED. And also there is a reset button. So if you hold it for like, I don't know, six, seven seconds, then uh, the LED starts blinking. So it goes into pairing mode. So if you have any metal surface, you can stick on it. And it's uh, these magnets are fairly strong. So definitely it's not going to move around. It would be very easy to control it. In a generic surface, because it doesn't have a lot of weight, it does dance around, but also these, um, um, sorry, these are not the magnets, the magnets in the middle. So these are rubber feet. So that rubber feet also creates some, you know, resistance uh, in, you know, just regular surfaces. But if you want to mount it, you also receive this um, 3M double-sided tape. And there is also this metal uh, plate that you can screw onto something. And then this with the dimples will line up and that would attach to the back and 
it is, you know, it, it's fairly firm. So I think it again gives a, a good adhesion or it will stick to whatever surface that you need to. And it also comes with a really, really small leaflet, so it, it goes through the pairing of some generic app. It doesn't say, I probably it says Tuya because it also says in the listing, but it, 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 it keeps it really, really generic. Yeah, yeah, the Tuya Smart App. So it keeps it very generic how you do that, and, uh, and it doesn't even talk about what you can do with it once you are in the app, because as I said, the operation would uh, differ slightly depending on which app to use. And um, yeah, it's a single double click, uh, double clicks and long, cl long presses. So I said three clicks, but no, 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 it's, it's not that. So single, double and long. I already paired a device to my Tuya uh, Zigbee bridge. I'm using a Blitzwolf IS-1 as a Zigbee bridge. And um, it, you know, just follows the usual process, so I didn't want to spend time showing that. And this is how the button looks like in the Tui app. As you can see, it, um, um, I mean, it still works and you can uh, create scenes in order to control other devices, but there is already a, like a dimming function, sorry, a, a pairing function within the app. So you can pair this device, the button, with a, another Zigbee device that it can control directly. And that would be important because, uh, let's say, even if uh, you lose internet connection and your, um, uh, or for some any reason, which, which I don't think it really happens, but if the Tuya service is not available for any reason, then your uh, Zigbee gateway uh, can still, you know, send the messages from this button to the device. So the, you know, this button would still be able to control your device. So this is why it is important to set up that sort of, um, you know, pairing. And if you read the documentation, then there are a couple of options how you, you know, once you pair the device and whether you have a compatible device, for example, a light bulb, which can be dimmable, then, you know, the click and the rotate function would work as, you know, by uh, switching it on and off and controlling the brightness and also long press and uh, rotating would work with the temperature change, sorry, color temperature change. And, you know, you can pair multiple devices and, you know, you have the option to unbind them. Or you can also create groups or save groups and some more information about the pairing mode. I mean, by the way, the, you know, the pairing button for this one is at the back. So that's the reset button. But I don't have any compatible Zigbee device to test this. So I just wanted to show you here. So that this is what you can do with the, with the device. But even if you don't create a pairing, you can still use the smart function. So if I want to create a scene, and if I look at uh, the events that uh, this device uh, can publish, we can see that we have two, oopsie, we have two uh, well, groups here. So switch one. So you can create an event when a, there is a single click, there is a long press, or there is a double click on this button. And you can also create events when there is a clockwise or an anti-clockwise rotation on the on the knob itself. So you basically have like four, five different actions that you can uh, trigger from this device. So pro potentially control f even five different devices or, you know, five different properties of a device. So this is what is offered in the Tui app. Okay, so now let, let me talk about the Zigbee 2 MQTT integration. Um, as you can see here, the device is added to my Zigbee network and it shows with this, uh, with the icon, with the picture of the, you know, how it actually looks like. And um, as I said in the beginning, I had to upgrade uh, or update my Zigbee to MQTT because uh, it was showing as an unsupported device. And actually I didn't know where it is, but uh, there is a section here in the Zigbee to MQTT documentation, how to update it to a latest version. So there is a couple of commands that you have to run in the command line in order to get it updated. But it, it, it only took me about um, like a half a minute. And as soon as I restarted, then my device was showing up as supported. So as I mentioned, oops, where it is, exposes. So as I mentioned in the beginning, it supports a couple of things. Um, it doesn't seem to support the double click, but even when I was, um, you know, looking at the raw data in the logs, I couldn't see the double click. So I, I don't know how that works. So we have a single uh, step, uh, sorry, the single click, which comes through as a toggle. And then we also have the simple rotation, which comes through as brightness step up and step down, depending on the, on the 
direction, whether it's up and down, and the action step size is, uh, if you just do one click, that's it's, it is 13, and if you start rotating it faster, it just becomes a bigger value. So, um, yeah, I mean, if, I, if you do really fast, I think you can get like, yeah, more than 100 values. And these are the two, I don't think it really makes any difference. And you have battery and link quality as well. And uh, if you press and rotate, then you have uh, color temperature again, step up and step down. And then if you long press it, then you have another one, a hue move and hue stop. So maybe hue move, if I long press it, like, yeah, but, but if I start to rotate it, then it still goes to color temperature, step up and step down. Oh yeah, because then the action changes to color temperature instead of brightness. So um, you can press it, you can just uh, turn it, you can press and turn, and you can just long press it and after turn. And so those would be the different actions that are supported. And just quickly wanted to show you how it looks like in ZigBee MQTT. So this is a toggle action. This is the brightness action, the color temperature action, and of course the you know, the hue action is going to be similar. I just long press it and wait for the rotation. Yeah, that's it. If you're still interested in this product, I'm going to leave a purchasing link in the video description. But that would be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.